Hey there you great people, nice to see you again, I hope you've been well. Um, as you see from the title, I'm doing a video here. This is totally unscripted, I've not bothered wasting my time writing a script this and the other because the channel I'm using the content from is Anglophenia. Um, and yes, I've done one of these before, how to have a British Christmas, uh, just before Christmas or around Christmas time. Um, I think it got a copyright ID claim on it, which didn't affect my channel in any way and doesn't hurt my channel and it's visible to all people, but it's not worth spending ages writing a script out. Um, it might get a copyright strike or something and then no one will be able to see it. So I'm uh, going to uh, just, yeah, do it completely unscripted. Um, by the way, if you've not watched some of my content for a while or you're new to the channel, you've never seen me before, or you are subscribed even and you are not seen a video for a while, Either way, um, if you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. It's completely free. Um, and if you are want to subscribe, you don't watch videos for a while, please do. I put up content literally every single day. Uh, come hell or high waters, I say, you know, if I'm tired, or if I'm ill. Because um, I feel so guilty if I don't do. Um, and if you didn't know, um, literally today I put up... Uh, <laughs> can't speak. I booked um, the last part of my trip I need to do because uh, if you haven't watched for a while, I'll be going over to America in two months' time, uh, staying literally almost on the banks, not far away, of the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area, Lake Superior in northern Minnesota. Um, not that many miles from the Canadian border, I think 35, 40 miles from the Canadian border. I'm going to be there for an extended period of time from May this year. Um, I'm not talking weeks, I'm talking quite a while. Um, so I love loads of great content, whether it be fishing, shooting, outdoor tasks, um, just really fun stuff, quad biking, uh, fishing superior, of course. Um, there'll be loads of stuff. Um, heading down to uh, Arizona as well to help out Michael, the Goodness in People channel, to help the homeless stand. I'll be doing that as well and filming. The GoPro will be going everywhere with me. And even the day I'm leaving, uh, which I'm not going to exactly say on here, but the day I leave, I'll be filming a little video here uh, when I'm leaving mine. And then when I get on the first plane, I'll be doing a video there. And I'll be getting off somewhere else, flying from there to Canada. Little video, then from Canada to another place in Canada. Um, so three flights and two vehicles in one day it's going to be. So it's going to be about a 5,000 mile journey over many hours, probably 18, 19, 20 hours or more that day um, it's going to be tough but when I'm there I'll be happy I'll be able to relax and I'll be over the moon to be where I really want to be um, where I can enjoy myself relax and make myself useful and have lots of fun and bring that fun content for you all to see on my channel so please stick with me because um, I feel like you're going to miss out on a hell of a lot of good uh, stuff which is going to be life changing for me as well but yeah, let's get into the video anyway this is how to make a British Oh, how to make breakfast like a Brit, how right, to make a British breakfast. She's showing a fry up here. By the way, we do not eat these every morning. I had one actually in probably a year or more. Let's show you anyway. It's breakfast time. Forget stacks of pancakes covered in maple syrup and push <laughs> aside your love of grits as there's really no place for any of these items in the classic full English breakfast. So grab your knife and your fork Brits is just mashed potato, isn't it? Some type of cheese national dish. History of the Full English. The origins of the Full English breakfast are a bit of a mystery, but many believe it harks back to the time of landed gentry who were keen to display their wealth and in doing so would put on lavish cooked breakfasts for their guests. The Full English breakfast was later adopted by the working classes as a great way to start the day during the Industrial Revolution and has since become part of the British national identity. Mm. Nowadays, most Brits indulge in a Full English only at the weekend. Yeah. But boy, is it worth the wait. I was going to say we don't have them every day. The Full English consists of the following fundamental items. Eggs. Fried eggs are yeah. most common in a Full English breakfast. Sometimes scrambled, but normally fried eggs. Yeah. are totally acceptable options. Or boiled eggs. Bacon. We mainly use British back bacon, which is a combination of both pork belly and pork loin. The bacon is served fried or grilled until the fat British is bacon is the best, by the way. No, it Sorry, but it is. Maple syrup. <laughs> Just cheeky. Sausages. The full English breakfast is the perfect place for you to Proper pork sausages. your sausage. 
And no, I'm not talking sausage patties or hot dog wieners. <laughs> Instead, we prefer a simple Lincoln or Cumberland sausage, fried or grilled. My two favourite Lincoln food. Black pudding. I can only imagine this is called... Some people can take this or leave it, believe it or not, black pudding. It's normally... She's going to say something different to me because there's different recipes for it, but normal black pudding is a mix between like off cuts or like mechanically removed beef and pork parts with dried po uh, pig's blood. There's normally like a cereal, like a wheat or an oat or something, in there, like a bulking agent to help bind it together. And then it's normally baked and then um, she's probably going to fry this. It sounds disgusting actually until recently. I didn't like them. I tried them once when I was eight year old. I tried one about a month ago that a friend of mine brought around because he brought a fry up for me. And I actually enjoyed it. it sounds weird, but a bit of salt and pepper on it didn't even need that but yeah it was awesome a pudding to make it sound more appealing black pudding is actually not a pudding in fact it's more like a sausage but made with kidney fat oatmeal and pig's blood mm -mm. Yeah. it's sliced recipe, and then yeah you guessed it fried and tastes a bit dry and salty a bit like everything else on the plate baked beans our baked beans are very different to the original American creation, which was made up of beans stewed with pork and molasses. British baked beans are stewed haricot tomato. beans, typically in a tomato sauce. You could make your own, but most of us just buy them in a tin. Toast. Toast or fried bread is essential for mopping up all the lovely grease left on your plate. You can use it as a platform to transport eggs and beans to your mouth, or you could save it and cover it in marmalade. I'll put a fried egg on toast, me. With a brown in the sauce. North of England, grilled oat cakes are popular, whilst soda bread what? is served in Ireland. In Ugh. Scotland, a potato or tatty scone is a staple, whilst Wales, interestingly, has lava bread, which lava is made bread. up of seaweed boiled with mm. oats. I That's disgusting. Mushrooms. Mushrooms should never come from a tin. Only fresh never. mushrooms will do. Yeah. Grill or fry them gently and add some herbs if you're feeling particularly And a big great. knob of butter, black pepper, tomatoes. salt, knob of butter with mushrooms Grilled in a prime pan. are perhaps the most colourful item on the plate, next to the browny, creamy, beigey colour of everything else. These have a tendency to explode, so try not to wear your favourite t-shirt to breakfast unless tomato juice embellishment is the look you're going for. So, there you go. <laughs> Eggs. Bacon, sausages, black pudding, baked beans, toast, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Let me know what you think. It really is the perfect way to start the day like a true Brit. Enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee, and of course, a copy of the morning papers. What twist do you like best on the traditional English breakfast? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Anglophenia. And remember, you can like us on Facebook too. Now, can I pinch a sausage? Yeah, go on this then. one is grilled to perfection. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, this is only brief one, a little bit of fun, uh, something completely different. Hopefully I don't get a copyright uh, strike or claim on this. If I do, I'll have to rem uh, remove the video from my channel. Uh, so you won't actually be able to watch this right now. Hopefully you are watching this right now and it's not been hit with a copyright strike. Um, the breakfast did look decent actually, that is proper fry up actually what she's done there to be fair to her. Um, Please go ahead and check out some other great content and playlists on this Paul B. Hossin 85. Do not forget to like, especially subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much, and have a great day.